Are you searching for the perfect destinations to check off your travel bucket list while planning your upcoming trip to Europe? Then Brussels, the charming capital city of Belgium, is definitely worth adding to your travel itinerary. Every style of traveler will find something to enjoy in Brussels, from breathtaking architecture to exquisite food. But where do you begin when there's so much to see and do? In this video, we've compiled a list of the top 10 things to do in Brussels. Before we start, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Number 1. The Grand Place Visiting the Grand Place is definitely among the top things to do in Brussels. Magnificent guild halls, the huge town hall, and the bread house are all situated around the central square. Although some of the structures in the Grand Place have been around since the 1200s, the majority were constructed in the late 1600s. You'll be in awe as soon as you enter the plaza because of all the amazing old structures surrounding you. Tourists are constantly picnicking and looking for the best spot to drink a late afternoon beer and hoping to take the perfect selfie in this neighborhood. A trip or several trips in the Grand Grand Place are highly recommended because there is so much to see at once. Number 2. Cantillon Brewery the beer admirers, a trip to Brussels must include a stop at Cantillon Brewery. This ancient brewery specializes in making lambic beer, which undergoes spontaneous fermentation with wild yeast, as opposed to conventional beers. Even though there were more than 100 breweries in Brussels when Cantillon Brewery opened its doors in 1900, it's the only one that's remained open since then. You can feel the brewery's rich history as you explore its brewing and bottling facility, which is located just outside the city center. Cantillon Brewery tours that are self-guided typically last 30 to 45 minutes. You may see the brewing, fermenting, and bottling sections as you tour the plant. Of course, visiting a brewery wouldn't be complete without tasting the products. Cantillon has a number of different beers available for sampling at the bar. The Goose and Creek Sour Cherry beers are two of their most well-known offerings. Number 3. Old England Building the Old England building in Brussels, which was constructed in the very last year of the 19th century, used to be a department store. Visitors are drawn to the building not just for its gorgeous facade, but also for the intriguing and significant musical museum it holds. More than 2,000 musical instruments of historical importance are kept at the museum, and many of them may be heard by visitors. Panorama views of the city are remarkable thanks to the cafe on the building's roof. Number 4. Maison d'Andoy if you only have one day to spend in Brussels, treat yourself to a delicious waffle experience, and Maison Dando is the only place in the city to go for the greatest waffles. This bakery has been producing delicious baked goods since 1829, making them professionals in their field. Maison Dando produces each waffle upon request, unlike many waffle stores in Belgium that reheat their waffles, which makes a noticeable difference in quality. Choose between the fluffy Brussels waffle or the sweeter, more compact liege waffle. Ice cream, hot chocolate sauce, carrot caramel, and a wide variety of other sweet treats are among the topping options. There are multiple Maison Dandoy locations, but we heartily suggest the one on Rue Charles Boulle, so you can take your time enjoying your waffle in the charming upstairs tea room. Number 5. Parliamentarium you can find the European Parliament, a significant location of global significance if you travel just outside of Brussels' historic city centre. Even if politics isn't your thing, it's worth your time to stop by the Parliamentarium Tourist Centre here. This fascinating and interactive multimedia exhibition takes you on a tour of the world wars, giving you an understanding of what life was like for Europeans during the conflict and shedding light on the factors that led to the creation of the European Union. Simply put, the EU was established to forge ties, advance commerce, and inspire concern for the welfare of other nations. You'll directly hear from members of the European Parliament during your visit, which usually lasts between 60 and 90 minutes, and discover how membership in the EU has genuinely benefited common people. The interactive displays and mini-documentaries are designed to be educational yet approachable, allowing visitors of all ages and backgrounds to easily comprehend and participate with the information. Number 6. Notre Dame du Sablon the Archers Guild utilized this magnificent Gothic cathedral as a chapel for a short period during the 14th century. The Madonna figure within, which was popular and thought to have healing properties, caused it to be further extended in the next century. The statue was allegedly stolen by a husband and wife team of thieves in a rowing boat. A life-size replica of the narrative is shown within the structure, but the statue's exact position is uncertain. Number 7. Comic Book Route 
If you enjoy street art and look for it everywhere when you travel, then you must check out the thriving street art culture in Brussels. You'll be amazed to learn how Brussels elevated street art after appreciating political murals and creative expressions in locales like Nashville, Ecuador, and Northern Ireland. The city features a distinctive comic book route that highlights well-known local comic creators and characters. With more than 50 installations spread out over Brussels, it becomes an entertaining and fun way to see the city. You set out to discover as many as you could, and you were successful in finding 11 largely in the city center. It was like going on a treasure hunt, which enhanced the thrill of an already exciting journey. Number 8. The Bourse The Bourse, a historic structure built in 1873 that holds Belgium's stock market, is situated right off the famous Grand Place. Grand columns and elaborate sculptures, some made by the renowned sculptor Rodin in his formative years, grace its towering front. Although the building's appearance is undoubtedly stunning, the Bourse's interior is where the main appeal resides. After being abandoned for 10 years, the structure has been turned into a cultural center that organizes several unique exhibits all year long. From fascinating photography, retrospectives, to immersive experiences exploring the ruins of the ancient city of Pompeii, or delving into the work of Vincent van Gogh, there's always something fresh and intriguing to learn. Here. The Bourse will also house a new beer museum in 2023 for individuals who have a passion for Belgian beer. The top levels of the structure will be home to this fascinating addition, which will provide visitors with a thorough and immersive look into the rich brewing history of the nation and the cultural relevance of beer in Belgian society. A stop at the Bourse is a must when seeing Brussels, regardless of your interest in art, history, or just finding new experiences. It'll undoubtedly be a highlight of your visit to this exciting and dynamic city, with its beautiful architecture, interesting displays and forthcoming beer museum. Number 9. Mont d'Art The Mont d'Art, Kunstberg, which is tucked away between the higher and lower parts of Brussels, is a cultural haven that truly lives up to the title of the Hill of the Arts. With so many options, Visitors to this region have access to practically every form of artistic expression. Regular concerts are held at Bazaar, a wide variety of films are screened at Cinematheque, and both the Musical Instrument Museum and the Royal Museums of Fine Arts have interesting exhibits. Even if there are plenty of things to do in this energetic location, you may like to just gaze at the breathtaking scenery. The Geometric Garden is a well-liked meeting place with panoramic views of Brussels city centre and the rising town hall spire. No matter the season, you'll find people relaxing on the stairs and benches under under the shady plane trees, making it clear why this is one of the city's most cherished locations. In the middle of the city's activity, there's a peaceful green oasis that's the ideal spot to relax and refuel before continuing your visits. Number 10. Art Nouveau Buildings with its wide windows, colorful exterior paintings, and swaying ironwork, Brussels' Art Nouveau architecture is a genuine eye candy. Several buildings around the historic center have been honored by UNESCO for their rich and decorative design. For those who enjoy decorative art, the 15-minute walk to the neighborhoods of Saint-Gilles and Ixelles is definitely worth it, where you can see their beautiful buildings. The renowned Horta Museum is located in the old home and workshop of architect Victor Horta, who introduced Art Nouveau to Brussels in the late 19th century. If you want to go further, you you may plan your own tour of the series of private residences and structures that Horter and his contemporaries created. Beautiful paintings, elegant balconies, and other charming architectural details decorate these houses. Even some of these buildings' interiors are accessible with advanced reservations. The Musical Instrument Museum and the Comics Art Museum are two superb examples of Art Nouveau buildings that are near to the city centre and are open to the public. And that concludes our list of 10 best things to do in Brussels. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and keep exploring.